All right, boys and girls. Now we are in the new subtopic, uh, power. Okay, power in this chapter, work, energy, and power. Okay. Today we will learn about power. So here's the first question: A lift of mass two hundred kilogram moves vertically upwards with ten passengers. If the mass of each passenger uh, is sixty kilogram and the lift takes fifty seconds to reach a height of fifteen meter. Calculate the power of the motor to reach that height if there is no loss of energy. And B, if energy is lost in the form of heat, which is equal to the half of the total useful work done. Okay, let's do the part A. If there is no loss of energy. Alright, so um, what information given? We have the, uh, sorry, we have the mass of A. We have the mass of the leaf. Okay, this is the mass of leaf, and it has ten passengers. Mass of each passenger is sixty. So this is mass of passenger. Then you have ten passengers. Means you have, need to multiply by ten. Okay, takes the fifty second. This is the time taken. Uh, this is the height. Reach a height delta h. So find the power of the motor we want to find the power of the motor so how much power by the motor there is no loss of energy okay so all right so we have the mass of the lead 200 kilogram and mass of the passenger is 60 times 10 so you have 600 kilogram of the total passengers and this is the conditions all right the conditions we have the uh okay this is a free boy diagram uh so uh the total weight the total weight of the leaf and the passenger is wt equal to mass total g and to go up uh so the motto has to pull the whole thing up so the tension in the string the tension in the string actually is the force by the motto uh, yeah, it's the motor that pull the lift and the passengers upwards. So the tension is equal to the force of the motor. Okay, and this is the height gain, delta H, 15 meter, isn't it? Yeah, 15 meter. So go to a bigger height. So we want to find the power of the motor. Power of the motor is the work done by the motor divided by time taken. Power is work over time. Okay, power is work over time. So power by the motto is the work done by the motto divided by the time taken. And what work done has done by the motto? As you see, the motto, force of the motto pull up. Uh, what kind of work done has done by the force of the motto? Yeah, it really, yeah? The delta H and it goes to a bigger greater height. So the work done of the motor, the motor has um, has done some work. Uh, the, the, the motor has increased the gravitational potential energy of the object, uh, of the leaf and the passenger. Uh, so work done by the motor is equal to the change in gravitational potential energy. It has done, uh, this is the useful work done. You can say the increase in gravitational potential energy is a useful work done. Uh, there is no energy loss in part A. Uh, so the motto has just, uh, the motto just uh, do useful work, which is the increase in gravitational potential energy. So to, to calculate that, okay, let's calculate. Uh, so um, delta U is mg delta H. Uh, okay, mg delta H. So change of height is fifty meter. Uh, okay. Uh, but this is the total mass, yeah, because if the motor pull everything up, the leaf and the passenger. So we need to find the total mass first. We have the mass of each. Mass of leaf and mass of passenger. Let's calculate the total mass. 
So mass of total is equal to mass of leaf plus mass of all the passengers. So uh, become 800 kilograms. Uh, right? 800 because all. But that is the total mass, 800 kilogram. Let's calculate the work done by the motor. Pull up the leaf and the passenger. Okay, MGH. Uh, the height gain is 15 meter. Okay, and we got 1.1772 uh, exponent 5 joule. That is work done by the motor. Alright, uh, so once we got the work done by the motor, we can find the power. Okay, so the time taken is uh, just now. The, what's the time taken? Yeah, 50 seconds. Okay, 50 seconds. So he has used 50 seconds to pull up the motor. Yeah, the motor has used 50 seconds to pull up. So the power of the motor is 2.35 exponent 3 watt, uh, which is 2.35 kilowatt. Alright. Uh, that's the answer. Yeah. Power of the motor. Now, part B. If energy is lost in the form of heat, which is equal to the half of the total useful work done, then what is the power of the motor? Uh, this time, the motor... Yeah? Uh, okay, same thing. We want to find the power of the motor. It's Power of the motor is the work done of the motor divided by the time taken. Yeah, P equal to W over T. This time, the motor, yeah, um, it has to do the increase in gravitational potential energy, the useful work done. But at the same time, energy is lost. Uh, so this time, the motor has done more work. It has done more work. Uh, unfortunately, some part of the energy, some part of the work done has lost in the form of heat, uh, wasted, uh, not useful work done. Okay? You still have to do the same amount of same amount of the uh, change in gravitational potential energy, which is 1.1772, because still at the same height, it still goes up 50 meters. Same height, so same, uh, same amount of useful work done. One point one seven seven two exponent five joule. However, um, it at the same time it also some part of the energy also lost as heat, and the amount loss, the energy loss is half. The energy loss is half of the total useful work done. Uh, half of the total useful work done. The energy loss. So, um, yeah, let's calculate also the energy loss. Energy loss is half of the useful work done, which is a uh, one. Sorry, one. Um, uh, okay. So we got it. Uh, five point eight eight six. Exponent 4 Joule. Uh, this is the energy loss. So, so this one we have to add some more. The work done motto is uh, 1.1772 uh, plus 5.886 exponent 4. So the total work done by the motto is 1.76 8 exponent 5 joule so you see this time the motor has uh, has to do has to do more work compared to before before only uh 1.17 1.17 this time the motor has to do 1.76 last time 1.17 this time 1.76 more work yeah it has done more work because some of the energy is lost as heat. Right? So now we need to do the power. 
So just substitute inside the 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 work done by the motor, which is more work. It done more work because energy is lost. Um, and result in three point five three exponent three watt. Uh, this is the answer. Okay, or we can say three point five three kilowatt. Uh, so uh, this time the the power also. The this time the power is higher three point five three. Last time is only two point five from two point three uh two point three five. This time it has more power because some part of the energy is lost as heat. So the, the motor has to do more work, has to be higher power. Right? So that's it for this question. Stay tuned for the next question. Thank you. Bye.